Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 165. And what I want to do today is look at this list of dates, and let's assume what I'm trying to do is figure out which of these dates are weekends because I've got some kind of call or call premium or schedule or something. I need to know which of these dates are weekends. And there's a couple of ways we can attack this problem, and the function I want to show you today is this one, and it's called weekday. Pretty straightforward uh, function. What it's asking for is Serial number, you don't have to get too worked up about it. It's that same way that Excel stores dates as numbers. And so I'm just going to point to this cell C8 that has my first date in it. The thing I want to spend just a minute on is this return type. There are uh, three different ways, that, or one, two, and three, you can put in this return type. And essentially what it's doing is, is it shows you down here, it's just saying what day is one. If you want Sunday to be one and Saturday to be seven, well, you can use one. A lot of times I will put two here and make Monday 1 and Sunday 7. And I'll show you why I do that in just a minute. So with return type 2, what that says is, all right, Thursday's a 4 and Tuesday's a 2, Sunday is a 7 and Thursday, or excuse me, Saturday is a 6. And the reason I use this weekday with, a, with uh, the parameter 2 is then I can write code. Let's skip past this column for just a second out here and just say, hey, if this cell here is greater than 5, then I know it's either 6 or 7. It's either Saturday or Sunday. It's a weekend. So as long as it's greater than 5, then I'm going to put call in this cell. Otherwise, I'll leave it blank. And if it'll help, I'll show you this. The logical test is, is the weekday function greater than 5? And if it is, make, uh, you can put call. If not, just leave it blank. And of course, if you wanted to, you could combine this with this. And instead of saying, if D8 is greater than 5. You could type of, you could combine this and this and say if weekday of C8 is greater than 5, then do call otherwise leave it blank. So you can combine it and not have to add this column here. I'm just leaving the column in to kind of show you the steps to get a combined formula out here. The other way you can attack dates to figure out okay, is this a Saturday or Sunday and you don't want to do formulas, you don't want to print call, just show me what day of the week it is. What I've got here is my formula is just equal C8 equals C10, equals C11, equals C12. All I'm doing is copying it over. But when I did this, what I did is I came over here and I said I'm going to go down to more number formats and you'll see in just a second, there we go, um, D, 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 D is the uh, format that will show you the whole day. And let me show you. When you start typing in this custom format, D gives you the, a one digit date, a two digit date, so if it's a single digit like the first through the ninth of the month, it'll put a zero in front like it is right there. The third D will abbreviate the day of the week. Fourth D, as a custom format, will give you the full day. So what you can do is you can do Thursday right there, and then it's easy to see that, hey, Sunday's call and Saturday's call and something like that. Two ways, once you've got a date here, that you can look and see whether or not it's a weekend. You can use the weekday function or you can just format it as the day of the week and scan down through. You could do a conditional format to find Sunday or Saturday here. You could do a conditional format to find call here. A couple of different ways that you can use to attack was my doc on call that week or did he work on a call week or something like that. Hope that was helpful for you. I got more date tricks coming. We'll see you then.